James Mitchell, and you guys are here to learn this. What's up guys? You guys are here to learn rotoscoping. Now rotoscoping is used as a different method to mask an object out, anything. And some tips before we start. When you rotoscope, you gotta make sure that there is a decent contrast between the object that you are rotoscoping and the background. So as you can see here, there's obviously like a very definite line between the white jacket and the blue sea. So this should make it very simple for us to rotoscope uh, my girlfriend in this case out because there's such a good contrast between the two clips. So when you're shooting your video, if you plan to rotoscope it out, just make sure that there's good contrast. So let's get started. So I have my rotoscope clip and then I have my background clip, which will show up um, after I rotoscope here. So we're going to have this scene right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our clip. We're going to double click. So we go into the layer in After Effects here. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come up to this little guy right here, which is the roto brush tool. You're going to click it. And now anything you paint After Effects is going to try to use its algorithms to understand what you are trying to roto brush out of the film. So if I do a nice little outline of Michaela here, it is going to create this pink outline of what it thinks I'm trying to rotoscope out. So as you can see, it maybe missed the hair in the ear. So all you have to do is then come over and paint a little bit more and then it'll adjust and maybe you want to paint a little bit more over here and it'll adjust and that that's looking pretty good I mean we could zoom in and get really picky um, which we can do a little later I can show you some tips but uh, so then you also notice though that it's showing the water in between the jacket and the arms so all you're gonna do is hold alt and you notice that my cursor goes red now anything you now color in it's going to tell it the opposite you're gonna say I don't want this to be rotoscoped so if we just draw a little line right there it's gonna start noticing that it does not want that area to be in our rotoscope and same here so we can kinda of mess with it a little bit more see if we can get it to maybe understand exactly what we're trying to do and that looks pretty good for our instance so if you really wanted to get picky with it you could come up here click and hold and then go to the refine edge tool and then you can refine the edges around maybe where you want more of the ear and the hair to be very like sharp um, but in this instance we're not going to do that so we have our clip we have what we think is good for the beginning to start rotoscoping so we're going to come down right here and we are going to drag this to however long we want this to be rotoscoped so I'm going to drag it to the end of my clip now all you have to do is come over and hit freeze and then what After Effects is going to do is it's going to go frame by frame and it's going to rotoscope our clip and so you can see it in real time how it's moving and how our clip is moving so some tips this works very well if your clip is very stable or very smooth so if your clip isn't, isn't even moving and you're rotoscoping an object it's very easy not hard at all but as you can see here, as my clip is moving, you can see that After Effects is losing the contrast between what I want it to and what it should. So what we're gonna have to do is go stop. We're gonna have to come back to maybe that frame or so. So as you can see right here, it's starting to lose where we want it to rotoscope. And then all you're gonna do is then, at this frame, you are going, oh, you have to unfreeze it. Sorry, at this frame, after you unfreeze it, you are then going to add adjustments in After Effects here. And what that is going to do is then it updates what you want rotoscoped. Pretty easy. Once you're happy with it, you hit freeze and it'll start at the beginning again, but it will keep going. And then it'll take that adjustment into account. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I did a few little manipulations just to. Uh, try to make it a little cleaner but for the purpose of this tutorial I didn't really do my best as rotoscoping her out but as you can see now my Michaela is rotoscoped out of her old clip so it used to be that and now she is rotoscoped out 
and so she is going to appear on the background clip. So as you can see if we move forward as she moves in the background moves now as you can see it's it's kind of chattery and that's because I didn't take a ton of time to rotoscope you know some of the extra water out and all of that but uh, it also is because this clip doesn't have the greatest contrast between uh, the water and the jacket in the shadows here but if you can imagine if you were doing this on a green screen this would be super simple you wouldn't even have to probably uh, go through and edit because it would just know because there's such a good contrast between the green that's lit up and the uh, character so this is a potential of what they do in movies now some other things is you come over here and you can mess with the feather which is how much that it's going to feather where you're rotoscoped, the contrast, shift edges, reduce chatter, so how much these lines are moving every frame to adjust for your rotoscope. So reduce chatter is going to try to minimize how much the lines are pretty much chattering trying to outline your object. But uh, I recommend you guys play around with this, maybe click some motion blur on it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much rotoscoping. If you can imagine, you can do this with anything. If you haven't checked out my latest video, uh, it was my travel edit to Yellowstone where I rotoscoped myself out doing a backflip and since it was me in the sky, it came out very nicely. And I also added some masks in there and some track mats to uh, give it a different feel, but I will link that right up here. And if not, check out some of my other tutorials. If you guys like that tutorial, please hit the like, please subscribe, let me know what you guys would like to see next, and check out some of my other videos. Until next time.